after the successful achievement of ISRO's moon landing. India now embarks on its first dedicated space mission to study the Sun. And the name is Mission Aditya L1. ISRO's Aditya L1 will be shot off by ISRO PSLV rocket from Satish Dhawan Space Center. Shri Harikota at 11.50 am on September 2nd, Saturday, 2023. The question is, why does ISRO want to study the Sun? Sun is the nearest star and the largest object in the solar system. ISRO believes that the Sun, being the nearest star, could be studied in more detail compared to others in the solar system. Also, understanding the Sun is crucial for the future revolution of the Earth and other planets in our solar system, as their behavior depends on it. Mission Aditya L1 will cover a total distance of about 1.5 million km from the Earth, which is four times farther than the Moon. Why did ISRO name the Sun mission Aditya L1? The word Aditya has Sanskrit origins signifying the Sun. And L1 refers to Lagrange point 1. Lagrange points are the positions associated with two body gravitational systems like the Sun and Earth. Where any object placed will be highly stable for any two such bodies. The L1 point of the Earth-Sun system allows a spacecraft to observe the Sun constantly without any occultation or eclipse. The spacecraft will be placed in the halo orbit of Lagrange point 1 of the Sun-Earth system. Position L1 will also ensure that the spacecraft can function with reduced fuel consumption. The Aditya L1 will carry seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere, and the outermost layers of the Sun the corona, using electromagnetic, particle, and magnetic field detectors. The spacecraft will take around four months to get into the sun's orbit. Using the special vantage point L1, four payloads directly view the sun and the remaining three payloads carry out in-situ studies of particles and fields at the Lagrange point L1. What does India hope to achieve with mission Aditya L1, and what are the objectives of mission Aditya L1? The key objectives of the mission are to understand the coronal mass ejection, flares, and near-Earth space weather, the coronal heating and solar wind acceleration, to understand coupling and dynamics of the solar atmosphere, to understand the solar wind particles and magnetic field, and the fascinating physics of the sun's heating mechanism. Thank you for watching this video.